Howdy Tinker Nerds, this is the comment show for my DIY Vintage Raspberry Pi Camera video part 2. You can click here if you haven't seen it. Now what would be a good way to kick this video off? Let's watch Gigafied make selfies. <laughs> That's an interesting suggestion, but I think it's a really bad idea because I'm really not that photogenic. Okay, stop it. Seriously, this is embarrassing me. No, I mean stop it. Use the inspect element to change this comment to whatever you want. Oh, that sounds like fun. All right, let's click here, put this here, do a little bit of this, and done. Please don't do the old school sparkling when the terminal is open. Oh, huh, sorry about that. The last poll I took, most people said that they actually liked it. But I guess since you don't, I can get rid of it. I prefer this new style. Please stick to it and don't change it again. Then again, I guess not. I recommend starting services from etc slash rc.local rather than modifying the profile. Excellent, excellent tip. There are many ways to auto start a Python script on a Raspberry Pi. The one I chose was one method, but Nono's method is actually a better suggestion. So let's give Nono a yes, yes. How about emailing the picture to your Gmail? You can totally do that, and if you need help, you can check out the code I made for the motion detecting security camera video that does just that. I think only a small portion of your audience are programmers. Maybe you could pull the audience on how much code they like in videos. That's actually an awesome idea because I've been wondering myself how much of the programming videos you guys actually want me to do. So brace yourselves, my little pretties, it's poll time. As always, I'd highly recommend disabling the GUI to free up resources since all of this is done in the CLI. CLI stands for Command Line Interface. So what Thomas is saying is to disable the graphical user interface since all we're using is command line values. This should free up a lot of system resources and make boot times a lot faster. Now granted, I haven't tested this with the Python script that I'm using, so the Python script may require a GUI, but if it doesn't, then definitely disable it because it would improve things immensely. If I knew how to program myself, I would like to add some filters to it so that the images that are being created look vintage as well. Also maybe a printer. I see some are using the Adafruit thermal printer to print out the images as well as using Dropbox to back up the images. You are speaking my language, good sir. And if any of you know of any good Python image editing libraries that will work with this type of screen, please let me know in the comments below. And I also saw the Adafruit post of using a thermal printer to print out images, so why I done went and got myself a cheap one. I appreciate everyone's feedback from my last video. You all seem to really like this new format, and it also streamlines my video editing process and renders much faster. So with that settled, I'm now going to start turning my focus more to presentation and content. Once I get that down, my hope is to start pumping out more and more videos, including maybe a separate series about the basics of how to use Arduinos, Raspberry Pis, and programming. So let me know what you guys would think about a basic tutorial series using this poll. Expect another behind the scenes video next week and then a new tutorial video the following week. Thanks again for all the comments and I'll see you all next time. In the comments show, you will stare at the ceiling and talk to us, but not for a long time. I would never submit to such a presumptuous request. I don't have any boogers, do I?